So uh, where do you think the direction of modern analog gear will go in 2023, 2024? Uh, modern analog gear? Um, well, it hasn't changed much since for the last 20 odd years. So I don't really know where it will go. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the inclusion of things like Better Maker, where you've got the um, USB kind of control. Um, my only thing with that is, unless you're recalling everything, um, it's it's kind of like, well, if I've got to recall that piece, that piece, and that piece, I might as well just recall it all by hand. Um, the yeah. best thing to look at is um, Session Recall. That's a really good piece yeah. of software to recall um, all your all your hardware. That's what I use, and it's really good. Um, but yeah, I don't really see it changing too much because it's already, you know, I don't see how it can change. The only way it can change really is um, is is implementing um, the digital aspects of um, of of recall into analog hardware. But I think a lot of the time. Um, what a lot of people love about the hardware is that you do have this piece that is a box that's totally disconnected from anything else. I can pick it up and take it anywhere and use it, and I'm, I'm not constrained by plugging it into a computer or doing anything like that. So okay. I think I don't think it will change too much. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think it will change that much. I suppose it's probably more the plug-in market incorporating all the AI stuff is probably like the next few years, but yeah. analog is all the sound, so it's not really <coughs> yeah. it's not going to be some new processor probably. Yeah, some AI AI is going to play a big part in things, and um, yeah, we'll we'll see. It's one of them ones we'll see. We'll see where <laughs> we go. Perfect. 